A former president, Jalaspur, and Pastor Tunde Bakari has recounted the reason why he lost the All Progressives Congress presidential party primaries that was held on the 7th and 8th of June this year. Now, Bakari said this during a Sunday service at his church of a city of global community. He said despite the challenges leading to the primaries, he refused to compromise his standard by giving bribes. Our correspondent, Paul George, was there and now reports. The church is full to capacity. It is a moment of praise to God Almighty as Pastor Tunde Bakari mounts the pulpit to give his speech on the aftermath of the primary election. He starts by celebrating his welcome with a song. The pastor says he is more convinced now than ever before that the future of his cause is bright, hoping that a new Nigeria is possible. I remain convinced now more than ever that the course to serve our fellow nation Nigeria has been a worthy adventure for a worthy cause. For us, the mean has always been as important as the end. This is why we confidently wear our zero votes as a badge of zero tolerance for a certain kind of hope. In the words of Martin Luther King Jr., it is my earnest prayer that the good Lord will bless Nigeria, will lead us not in love with money, but in love with justice, not in love with publicity, but in love with humanity. Leaders who can subject their particular egos to the present urgencies of the great cause of freedom. Pastor Bakari says he is glad he and his team did not compromise on the values which are integral to building a new Nigeria and that made him score zero at the primaries. While appreciating his team and the people who supported his ambition despite the outcome, he congratulated Ashwaju Bola Tinubu for emerging as the party's standard bearer. He however said Tinubu's victory is a seal to his contribution to the party and the political sphere in Nigeria. Supporters across the nation and in the diaspora, I thank you for your unalloyed support despite the challenges leading up to the primaries. Our heads remain unbowed because we did not compromise on the values that are integral to building a new Nigeria. I congratulate the winner of the APC presidential primaries. Ashwajo Bola Ahmed for his victory. His emergence as a flag bearer and presidential candidate of the APC is a testament to his significant contributions to the cause of the Southwest, as well as his labor toward the formation and establishment of the APC. I therefore extend best wishes to him as he proceeds on the campaign trail towards the 2023 general election. This is the moment where those leaders will begin to revive the dreams of our founding patriots, the dreams of the Nigeria strong and united, though tribes and tongues may differ, and the dreams of the Nigeria where no one is oppressed, no matter which part of the country they come from and leave, and no matter how they choose, as Nigerians begin to count down to the general election to elect a new government, many still believe there is hope for the country. Paul George, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.